Hey there, my name's Luke, welcome to my channel. So, Arthur just messaged me, that's great. Well, I'm saying the group chat, great, love that. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about um, all the animals I've ever owned. So that's both um, current and ones that are, have unfortunately passed away. Um, keeping in mind that the only three that I know of that have passed away are two fish when I was younger and my cat, which I'll get into. Um, so basically we'll start off with my first animals and those were my fish when I was probably around three or four. So technically they were actually my parents' fish, but I got to name them. <laughs> and I was like very interested in them. They were goldfish, as most people's first fish are. Um, and they were named Wayne and Garth after um, the main characters from a movie that I was obsessed with at the time called Wayne's World. So after that, um, probably around their last year of life, um, and they, they didn't live very long because we didn't know how to take care of them, and I will say that right now, keeping in mind um, that not as much information has been put out like, you, we don't- we didn't know as much then as we did now. Um, well I say we didn't know how to take care of them. We did. It's just we could have done better. Um, and so ne then after that I got my first cat. Um, his name was Scratchy and he lived to be 13 years old. Um, he passed away two weeks ago, I believe. So after Scratchy, there was this cat that was my neighbour's and he and Scratchy got on very well and he started coming in to our house and we let him, you know, we, we were fine with him um, and his name is Frank and he's that cat right there. Frank! There he is. That's Frank. He is... 14 this year. Um, Scratchy was be turning 13 this year. Um, so yeah. And then after that, I got... So and then after Frank, oh, there were a few years in which we only had Frank and Scratchy. And then three years ago, so when I was 13, I decided to get two fish that were, I believe they're Aranda's. I can't remember exactly. They're they're black moors, but they're not actually, they're not fully black moors. So, you know, they're a mixture of like randas and whatever. Um, but they are primarily black moors. Um, and I got two of those, and they are kept in a tank which is perfect for their size. Um, don't ask me how big it is though, because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, however, black moors grow massive, just so, you know, don't decide to get black moors um or just as a i want them because like one of them's like this big including the tail i believe yeah around this big including the tail um and then the other is a female so she's slightly smaller and she's about this big maybe maybe slightly bigger um so yeah quite big and then last year i got my two pet rats um, and their names are Shadow and Alex. Nope. Alex is the, one of the names of my fish. Um, their names are Shadow and Echo. They are around eight months old, nine months old. We figured out that they were born in like May. Um, like counting back because we adopted them in July and they were a few months old then. So yeah, they are around seven or eight months old um and they are both males <laughs> and I can clarify it for a fact that they are both males <laughs> um in case you didn't know one of the easiest ways to tell a male rat from a female rat if especially if they are if they have reached maturity in like sexual maturity is male rats have extremely large testicles <laughs> um and so because of that 
it is extremely easy to tell the difference between a female rat and a male rat once they have both reached sexual maturity, which is around six weeks, I believe. Nope, that doesn't sound right. Why doesn't that sound right? Because it's probably not right. One second, I need to double check my facts. It is six weeks. I was right. Um, so yeah, rats become sexual mature at the age of six weeks, but they reach social maturity at around five to six months. Um, so, yeah, um, they have only just recently reached social maturity. Um, which, fun fact about rats, um, at, at, well, male rats specifically, around the age of 18 months, so 12 months to 18 months, though it can be slightly uh, a younger time, um, rats, or they, became, they become less active, and that's nothing to worry about, that's just them being completely lazy, because male rats are extremely lazy creatures. Um, so if you want more cuddly rats, definitely go for males. If you want more active rats, go for females. Um, I decided to go for, well, the breeder, or, well, no, it wasn't a breeder, it was a, it wasn't the store, that's for sure. Um, it was, um, I'm saying that's for sure because I know for a fact it was not a store. Um, oh, what's it called? It was like a charity st store, I guess, um, a local charity st shop, which was, is also a rescue for small animals. And so Shadow and Echo came from there. Um, and basically what happened was um, this person had adopted two rats, two female rats, and one of them turned out to be pregnant. Um, and so she couldn't deal with having uh, that many babies because male because well not male rats because rats produce a lot of litter um because they are prey animals and prey animals produce a lot of young um the less i just got called a penguin uh, the the less amount of um The, the less amount of, the less chance that a, um, that a person's young will survive, or an animal's young will survive, there is a higher chance, there is a higher amount of eggs produced during reproduction. So with humans, obviously we have an extremely high chance of, um, young living. So, uh, human females only generally produce one to two eggs, um, whereas likes of um, fish, they produce thousands, hundreds or thousands of eggs because they produce less, no, because there is less of a chance of their young developing and living, um, primarily because they eat their young. <laughs> uh, bet you didn't know that. Um, but yeah, so that was all my animals. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, feel free to give it a like, um, feel free to subscribe, feel free to comment, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye!